While I'd like to think of myself as at least approaching the level of being an audiophile or someone who just at least prefers and demands and seeks out as high quality audio as possible, that's a section of content that I've not actually covered a whole lot on this channel. Audio products. I've covered and working on more reviews of various headphones and headsets on the channel, but I've never actually covered speakers, the big boxes that most people use to listen to when they get their audio for their games, movies, music, television, so on. So today I'm taking a look at the Logitech Z533. I came across this on their actual announcement of it on social media and websites and other review sites talking about it and stuff as being a great 2.1 system for basically like home offices, uh, desk setups, you know, personal one person setups. And that seemed perfect for me. So I wanted to give it a try. Sent them a review request and I got them. But yet, I've yet I, I wasn't actually able to use them for what I wanted. Let's take a look as to why. Out of full disclosure, as usual, this product was sent to me free of charge from Logitech themselves, but this video is not sponsored or influenced in any way. Nobody's seeing this video before it goes online, no one's paying for it, no one's requesting any specific input. I simply asked for a product for, so I could review it and provide some different content on the channel and they sent it over. With that out of the way, let's take a look at the Logitech Z533 2.1 Multimedia Speaker System. So in the box itself, you get a couple things. You get the subwoofer base with an attached volume control module, which I'll touch on in a minute, and then two speakers, as well as a user manual, and a 3.5 millimeter audio cable. The subwoofer unit is kind of like the control station of where all the audio runs in and out of, so you will be hooking your speakers up to it as well, as well as running the 3.5 millimeter audio cable from your computer or headphone jack on various devices, or the RCA cable from certain receivers or televisions. However, keep in mind, depending on your television, this may or may not work. Most TVs should be good nowadays, but I'm using a TV I bought when I was 16 years old. Keep in mind that was about six or so years ago now, and it was very expensive for its time, but would not cost very much at all these days. Would probably cost less than the speakers themselves. And the RCA output, when I use it, there is no option to mute the TV speaker itself. So that ultimately makes this option unusable for my situation. Also, the, the, the quality of the audio from the RCA output from my TV is not very great at all. But if you have a surround, or not a surround, but a sound receiver, something that all of your devices run through, or just a modern television that lets you mute the TV speaker itself while still leaving the audio outputs going, you're good to go. Or if you're using it with your with a computer, you don't need to worry about any of this. 3.5 millimeter works great. Now why am I not using this in my desk setup? I've been using a computer monitor speaker basically since I moved into my apartment and it's been even giving me headaches when I used it. So why am I not using these? The control module that I mentioned before is, atta is attached to the subwoofer. It, there, there's no way of disconnecting it. When I used my old pair of Altic Lansing 2.1 speakers that I got when I was in my early, early teens, they were a great set of speakers. The main, the right speaker act as the acted as the control module and it attached via a giant, almost like S-video-like cable. That was a, I'm assuming either a proprietary or adapted cable that allowed it to have all the control functions while still also transmitting the audio. This situation is not here. There is no proprietary connector. There's no standard connector. It's hardwired into the subwoofer, which is a problem for me as my desk is up against the wall and there's no possible way I can make that work to run the control module up behind it and run, running it in front of my desk would just mean I'm kicking it and throwing it all over the place all the time. It would not work out well at all. Very disappointing. Again, a standard desk setup that's like not up against the wall or just a single like one person desk, it's gonna work great for. A sing you know, put it on both sides of your monitor, run it to the floor where the subwoofer is and you are good to go. I have a custom built wood desk set up up against the wall with no like wiggle room whatsoever and the cables would have to run very, very far in order to actually reach the subwoofer and run through like some alternate routes than just going straight to it. And so it didn't work for me, but for many people it would probably work. And so I essentially emulated that standard desk setup on my dresser, where my television is in my bedroom. Put the two speakers on opposite sides of the TV, ran it to the subwoofer on the side, perfect. Ran the little control module up under the middle of the TV stand, and it works great. The speakers sound fantastic. Anyway, I've hooked them up so far, they do have a little bit of active noise to them. There's a little bit of hiss for just when they are powered on. This is a common problem of a lot of powered speakers, but something that could bug you doesn't bug me, and as long as you turn them off when you turn your TV off and stuff, if you don't, it's probably gonna pop in and out from the you know, audio device on the TV turning off, you're good to go. They get ridiculously loud, 
They sound fantastic. And the control module itself, which acts as the volume control knob and power button by turning up the volume, it just kicks it on, also has a bass boost switch. And that subwoofer can put out some serious bass. On that control module, you also have a couple 3.5 millimeter inputs and outputs. If you're using it at your desk and want to hook up headphones, you can just run that as a pass through straight through the control module without having to change your audio devices and windows or anything like that. And the speakers themselves are not super large. They're not the size of bookshelf speakers. They're they're fairly small for what they are. They're they're wide. They're not like skinny stick speakers. They are legit speakers, but they sound really good, and I'm very impressed. And then they have a little bit of um, anti-slip pattern on the back, so they sound great and they do a great job of audio output, it simply would not work in my desk setup due to this weird instance of not letting us disconnect the control module. I don't know why that decision was made. I hope that future iterations of this product do not have that as that just really upset me because that's where I wanted to use it. But thankfully I got sent the Creative iRoar Bluetooth speaker at the same time as these and that's what I'm using as my main desktop speaker. If you want to see my review on that, it should already be online, so I will put a link in the YouTube card icon somewhere up here and link in the description below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching my review. Be sure to smash the like button if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome technology-related videos, how-tos, tutorials, reviews, things like that. Consider coming and supporting the channel to help me continue what I'm doing as it becomes harder and harder as financial problems come up and arise. I've had a lot of hard drives die recently and I've lost a ton of footage, especially I've had to reshoot these videos a few times. And so if you want to support the channel and help me keep what I'm doing, I have a Patreon link, patreon.com slash evilsvox in the description below and card and all that jazz. You get early access to our videos. I'm actually revamping it so there's separate tiers depending on which channel you want to support and what do you want to get out of it. And it just helps a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.